Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, March 7th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. A lot of you millennials out there seem to have trouble grasping the fact that not everything in life is meant to come immediately. Sometimes the best things take time to develop and it's the time that ends up making you appreciate them more in the end. Just go ask Thomas Anderson. Over the last 12 months, the 212 standout has become a master of the steady progress game. And all you have to do is take one look at the pictures to see what I'm talking about. Rumor has it that Anderson and his team might be targeting a show sometime around April or May. So if he picks his spots correctly, he's a guy who has the talent to sneak up into the top five in the right lineup and do some serious damage. A few weeks ago, we reported a Rafael Brandeo update with a quote from our very own Chris Aceto, who thought the Brazilians would be happy with what Rafa brought to the stage at the Arnold. Well, guess what? The Brazilians loved what Rafa did, and so did a lot of other people. But do you know what they didn't like? His placing. Apparently, the good people of Brazil took exception with Rafa's seventh place finish. And the reason I know this is because the inbox on the RX Muscles Instagram was flooded with about 500 DMs from angry Brazilians who felt like their guy deserved a top six finish. Now I'm not questioning what the judges did. What they see at their table is their business. All I'm saying is that south of the border, people aren't exactly thrilled. But I'm sure we'll see Brandeo back in action again in the coming weeks. And hopefully he'll finally bring home his first pro victory. I listened to a podcast a few weeks ago that talked about how skillful Alexander the Great was as a military strategist. And as far as the men's physique division goes, there aren't too many guys out there who know how to create a plan of attack better than our good friend Andre Ferguson. Despite the fact that he was the smallest competitor on the Arnold Classic stage for the second straight year, he went out there and delivered a statement win. On Tuesday, I heard a rumor from a source inside the Ferguson camp who told me that, in all likelihood, their next step would be the City Limits Pro, which is set to take place six weeks from now. We've seen Ferguson go on early season tears before, and this feels like it could be one of those moments. So if he shows up ready for battle, I have a hard time thinking there will be anyone else in that lineup who's got enough skill to outmaneuver him. Sometimes one of the best things that can happen to you in life is seeing the competition be successful. I've seen a light of fire underneath people time and again, and it looks like last weekend was no exception to the rule for Chris Bumstead. Bright and early Monday morning, C Bum and his crew were spotted knocking out a supercharged chest workout, fresh on the heels of some serious weekend motivation from George Peterson and company. I'm really not in the position to say if this was an eye-opening weekend for the number two man in the division, but seeing a guy who he beat on the Olympia stage being handed the big trophy by Arnold himself would definitely wake me up. So now that GP3 has his attention, I'll be interested to see how this next few months play out. As an athlete, most people know what number they need to hit on the scale to come in looking their absolute best. And from the way it looks now, 212 standout David Robinson has to be pretty close to hitting his number. A few days ago, Robinson posted one of his final pre-show updates heading into this weekend's Fit Pro World, where he should be in the running for a top five finish. From a structural standpoint, Robinson has a ton of tools in his arsenal. So if he can figure out how to load them all up and have them ready to go, a top three finish is definitely in the cards for the gifted Robinson. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.